I'm definitely not white knighting or simping. I've called out women on my channel a ton. And I've had to delete the videos because of YouTube. But listen. If you wonder why women are becoming the way that they are is because of men. It's because of men. It's because of dudes. There's women out here making thousands of dollars selling their flatulence in a jar. There's guys buying it. There's disgusting individuals that want to smell a woman's the scent of a woman's fecal matter. There's actual men out there that want to do that. It's so funny because some woman can just have a bunch of dudes like me flatulating in jars and she sells them as a, as as it's her own. And guys are actually buying this. That's why I say like people are like, oh, women. Like, I'm highly red pilled. And I see things that, for the way that they are. And I see how women are becoming more and more degenerate. How they're unapproachable. How they have attitudes. How how they are their own their they are their own men of their life. They're highly masculine here in America. Independent. Feminist. And for me, that's unattractive. That's just not attractive. Um, but to, to sit here and, and, and complain and continue to complain, which, yeah, you, I see it. Like, you know, these, these big title channels, but what you should, what they should be doing is pointing out these guys who keep simping and giving these females uh, undeserved validation online. A woman can get a ton of Instagram followers or TikTok followers just because she's a woman. She's showing some skin. She gets all these uh, followers. I've seen w women on my Snapchat. All they do is just sit there and just look pretty. With a video. And I'm thinking to myself, why am I watching this? What are you providing? Why did you just take a picture? And guys will give them validation for this. Oh, you're so beautiful. You're so gorgeous. Give them likes and follows. Perpetuating their ego even more. Right now, female value is at an all-time high. There's a, there's a multiple reasons why. There's a scarcity aspect. I'm talking about I'm talking about a decent looking female. There's a scarcity because a lot of our population here in America are overweight and unattractive. And and, and and if you're a woman and you're and you're overweight and just because you put makeup on doesn't do anything. I'm just telling you that right now. The number one thing you can do if you're if you're a woman and you're overweight is lose the weight. It doesn't matter what you do with your hair, it doesn't matter what clothes you wear. It doesn't matter about your nails. It's the weight. We, most men, like women who are in decent shape. At least decent shape. So there's a scarcity aspect of, of why uh, attractive women are at a high value. Where they can sell their flatulence on, on, on the internet. Uh, there's a lot of weak men. A lot of weak men that put up with this. Um, and this bubble will pop. I'm telling you this bubble will pop. It's either going to be some drastic depression. Some economic collapse. Some type of war. Or the, eventually the the robots. Robots are going to take over. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to invite you to look at rep, 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 Replica download that and just check it out just check it out you can you can have a conversation a texting conversation or even like call it if you pay for it an ai and it's not like talking to a person 100 percent, but you can see where the technology is heading 
you can dress up this avatar, especially when we're going to be making ourselves into avatars. Look at the metaverse coming up. People are going to be having relationships with robots. Um, and, 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 and I think that women need to get this relationship thing out of your heads. This monogamy thing is like out. It's out. It's been out. And, and there's a lot of females out there that still have this Disneyland uh, a fairy tale ending. And, and that doesn't exist. That doesn't exist anymore. Um, look at the nuclear family. It's obliterated. How many people come from a nuclear family where both their, their parents are, are home? The, 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 I mean, not home, but like, uh, they're still together. So it is a home. Hardly any. We're, 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 a, 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 we're a few generations of broken people. And, and there's a multiple factors of why things are the way they are right now. But the, 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 the chickens will come back to roost at some point. At some point. The only, I don't know how much farther the degeneracy can get. Um... But it's just like, like, for me, I don't care about relationships. I just don't care. Um, with a woman, anyway. I, I, I don't, I'm not going to go 100% in that. I'm not. Because I'm not going to, for me, I've went on 100%. I've went 100% before in the past. And I got severely burned to the point where I want to do self-deletion. I'm not going to lie. I want to do self-deletion before. Because it was that bad how much trauma I endured. It was almost like a PTSD type of... Where you can't sleep. All you can do is you're literally only thinking about that person nonstop. And I'm not going to ever get to that point again. I'm never ever going to allow myself to get to that point again. And I'm telling you people out here... You can't let yourself get 100% emotionally involved in anybody nowadays. You you just can't you can't trust anybody unless you want to go I'm talking about in the society that we're in. Unless you want to go Amish. And 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 for me, I just think it's dumb to bring kids into this situation. Why would you want to bring kids into this this destructive environment? The best place for 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 people to raise a family is is just go Amish and get away from this satanic gen, generate uh, degenerate society. You need two people to serve. You need two people to bring in uh, uh, money to survive, and then you need to ship your kid to somebody to take care of your kid and raise your kid for you. Economically, it doesn't make any sense to bring kids into this. It just doesn't. And, and, and with with people not staying together long term like they used to, people people get married and they would actually stay together for their whole lives. Um, it does. It's not the case anymore. And and in fact, there's like there's not a lot of there's not a lot of incentives for a man to want to get married nowadays and and have kids. You get married and have kids with the woman, and 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 she gets bored. She'll divorce you, and then you're going to be screwed. You're going to be a servant. You're going to be a slave because of the court system. Now, it could go the other way, too. But traditionally, and, and this is another thing, too, that's the problem, is women have women have evolved in, into being modern, independent women where you don't need us. Well, it's like, okay, you don't need me, so what's the point of a relationship other than intercourse? What is the point? There's no point. I'm just a warm body, and that's 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 what women need. To, they need to accept that. They need to instead of like looking for the next replacement, is understanding why they are doing what they are doing. But they don't have to, because there's no repercussion for their actions. She'll you know she screws up with this guy. She'll find somebody else. It's no problem for women. For men, it, it takes work. It takes suffering for us to find somebody else. And 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 the thing is, like this this traditional man, you you've evolved into this feminist. Most women here in America are feminists. Most have some some type of a degree of feminist. They might not be full blown blue hair feminist, but there's some type of degree of feminist. Look at uh, anyway. 
you've evolved to this and you expect me, you're not traditional, but you expect me to be traditional. You expect me to provide security, all this, protect all this, but you don't uphold anything of a traditional woman. So what you need, what women need to do is they need to switch up their mindset and understand what they are. Uh, uh, they're promiscuous beings and they only want the guy for a warm body. Um, the chances of them finding that high value man to settle down with is slim to none because the high value men, they don't have to settle down with uh, Susie Joe over here because they'll find somebody younger in five years. Their Women's looks are a depreciating asset. Think about that. It's a depreciating asset. So why am I going to invest long term into something I know is going to depreciate? 